the needy and the poor, they are the ones that need justice today. They are the ones that need to be protected. I was very much interested in hearing one of the leading political analysts in this country today say on television that every program that has been devised to help the poor has hurt the poor. And you know what is wrong there? The only one that can give justice to the poor is God. He's the only one that can. And when a judge down here does not feel like he's representing God, then I personally, I don't think he's a judge. And today, we have many godless men sitting on a judge's bench. I don't know about you, but I want to say that they're in no position to judge me at all until they recognize they're representing God. I think that's one of the wonderful things about the founders of our country. I hear today so many talk about that they believe like Jefferson did. Well, Jefferson was a free thinker, no question about that. But he had a wonderful respect for the Bible, though he's not what we would call today in our circles a Christian. Yet, my friend, he had a respect for the Word of God and for the statements that are made in it. We've got so far away today that our courts and our government doesn't even recognize God. And it's almost a farce today to have a man put his hand on the Bible and take an oath. It becomes almost comical today because the judge doesn't believe it, the lawyers don't believe it, and the jury doesn't believe it, and the man that's taken the oath doesn't believe it. And my friend, when you don't, you just, well, give them the Sears and Roebuck catalog. And some of them have more respect for it, and they do the Word of God. May I say to you, God is dealing with principles here. And until a judge represents God, he cannot represent the people. And we've gotten so far from that today that I sound like a square. But that's all right. Now, verse 3, "...and what will ye do in the day of visitation and in the desolation, which shall come from far? To whom will ye flee for help, and where will ye leave your glory?" Now, God says that you are judging today, and you're to represent me, but the day is coming when I'm going to judge, and I'm going to judge you. And I feel like that every judge ought to recognize that he is to stand before God and give an account of how he's handled this responsibility that's been given to him down here. And they have a bleeding heart, and they say they want to give the criminal justice and let him off because he's a poor fellow. Well, my point is that I think they need to begin to crack down on the rich also. Now, verse 4, "...without me they shall bow down under the prisoners, and they shall fall under the slain. For all this his anger is not turned away, but his hand is stretched out still." God says that this will affect all stratas of society. And it affects man and brings about its own deterioration and its own degradation. And today, we are at a new low as far as morals are concerned. 